Hey guys, Melinda here, and Happy New Year! It's 2017 finally, and I can't tell you how excited I am that it is. I know that 2017 is gonna be so much better than 2016. With ringing in the new year, I thought I would share with you guys some traditions that I actually do to help me get through the year. I'm gonna start by talking about this. So first and foremost, I hate calling it New Year's resolutions because Everyone knows that you make a resolution and then you don't do it. And I absolutely hate doing that to myself. So I actually renamed it New Year's Goals because it's something you're trying to achieve. And by calling it a goal, it means that you actually can and you can get to the end of it. So what better way to do that than writing it on pieces of paper and having it hang on your wall all year long so you can stare at it and get your butt in motion. With that being said, I thought I would share with you guys what my 2016 goals were and that I achieved most of them. The very first goal that I wrote myself was not to let my ex back into my life because I had a bad habit of doing that, of allowing him to come back in. At the beginning of 2016, I was fed up with it, so I told myself I'm not allowed to let him back in and I can successfully say that I didn't. I went 2016 without talking to him or anything and I'm a lot happier now that I made that decision in my life. The second thing on my list was to lose 20 to 30 pounds and I wrote my actual like starting weight but I didn't put my ending weight. This is something that uh, most people try to do at the beginning of the year. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get fit and I'm gonna lose weight but I actually changed my perspective halfway through 2016. At the beginning, I was very set on wanting to lose the weight because I thought to be an actress I need to be skinny about it, but that's not the case anymore. You know, times are changing and there are a lot of plus-size actresses that are phenomenal that I look up to. You know, it's not even that anymore, it's just I stopped caring what other people think of me. I mean, absolutely I want to start going back to the gym, but not with the intention of losing weight to look pretty, but with the intention of wanting to actually get fit so I don't get winded when I walk up a flight of stairs. That's why I didn't put an ending weight, because I just, I don't care. So the next thing on the list is something that I'm actually very proud of, and I put to see at least 15 movies in the theaters, because being a film major, going and watching movies is a big deal to me, and I absolutely enjoy watching it in a theater as opposed to like on Netflix or something. It just like, it gives it that much more and it means that I'm supporting the film, which always makes me happy. I gave my goal to see at least 15 movies in the theaters and I ended with a solid 20. All of the movies that I saw was Star Wars, The Forest, The Fifth Wave, Deadpool, The Witch, 10 Cloverfield Lane, Batman vs Superman, Captain America Civil War, X-Men Apocalypse, Neighbors 2, The Conjuring 2, Independence Day Resurgence, The Purge Election Year, Star Trek Beyond, Suicide Squad, Don't Breathe, Bridget Jones' Baby, Rogue One, Passengers, and Moana. The next thing on my list was something else that makes me very happy, and you guys know this if you watch my vlogs, and that's I put to see at least five bands in concerts. I saw 11, or I didn't view it as bands, I viewed it as how many concerts I went to, and I went to 11 concerts. I went to go see Muse, AWOL Nation, 21 Pilots, I went to an Envy showcase which was a bunch of local bands just performing and that was really fun, Panic at the Disco, Warp Tour, Malcolm Moore and Brian Lewis, Life is Beautiful, Yellow Card, Asking Alexandria, and Holiday Havoc. I have a problem. And then the last thing on my list was to enter at least five film festivals, and I sadly did not accomplish this. I entered four film festivals, I didn't do the fifth, which is something that I want to actually change for 2017 because as much fun it, as it was doing everything else, you know, none of it really will contribute to my career, but entering film festivals will. I will be getting my name out there, I'll be getting critiques, so... That's the one thing I'm definitely going to change about 2017. So then that leads to da, 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 my new list. I am so excited to get started on this, and as you can see, I already have. 
So that is something that I actually just started doing last year. The next thing I have been doing for four years, I have this little box right here and I call it my memory box because it's full of little sticky notes. On each of these sticky notes was something that happened in 2016. Whether it was something good, it was something fun, or something as lame as I took a final today, it was awful. I barely remember things that happened last month, so I'm excited to read what happened back in January. So, let's go ahead and empty this. Also going along with that memory box with the sticky notes, I have this golden box right here. This box is full of a bunch of random stuff too. I want to say most of it's probably like movie tickets and receipts and just other stuff like that, but basically if I collected something from doing any of these things on the sticky notes, I put it in this box. So let's go ahead and empty this too. That is a lot of stuff. I honestly don't even know where to start in this pile, but I wanted to give you guys a taste of some of the stuff that I've collected, so just gonna randomly pick a sticky note here. Oh my god, okay. So this was back in May, this was May 8th. It says, I went to Beer House with my mom, my stepdad, and our friend Linny for Mother's Day. I got an amazing hot dog with cheese fries, then we got dessert from Shake Shack, I got peanut butter, <laughs> I got a peanut butter shake, and it was a good night with family. See, just really cute random stuff like that. Another example, just a random sticky note. Oh wow, this is actually pretty recent. Okay, so this was from October, it's October 20th, it says, I hung out with Sam today because you know I do that so much. We walked around Galleria Mall, a Halloween store, got ice cream and canes. We also played Cards Against Humanity with her grandma and we watched Sinister. Just a nice relaxing day. I actually vlogged about this when Sam and I went Halloween shopping. So it's really nice to remember something that is actually up on YouTube. It's fun to remember what happened in 2016. It's with um, what was in the other box. Let's see what I can find. Oh my god, of course. So the first thing I picked up were these note cards. I was in a competition on campus to produce a screenplay that I wrote. If I won, I was going to get $25,000 to produce it, and I made it to the finals. And so these were the, the note cards that I brought in with me to my final presentation to the entire film department. And I guess, just randomly picking something in this pile, I found this folded up piece of paper. It's staple. Oh my god! Okay, so this is actually a script that I wrote, and I filmed this back in... March, actually, during spring break, it was the Shadows trailer that I made based on my screenplay that I wrote, which is also on my YouTube channel, so that's... Oh my god, this is just insane to think about. That was this year! That was so long ago! That's crazy! Again, that's why I just love keeping these memories and looking back on them, because it's, it's just nice to have a piece of myself from months ago and to remember that. If you guys are ever interested in doing something like this, it's super easy. All you need is just some sticky notes and a box to collect it and just keep it near you and in sight and throughout the entire year just update what's going on in your life. I had fun reading that and I am not going to read all of this for you guys because that would take forever. With that being said, Happy New Year's you guys. Let's make 2017 fantastic! Woo! If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It would absolutely mean the world to me. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already and you want to be notified when I post. And to see more content, I post every Monday and Friday and vlogs when I do stuff. And I guess that is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Live life, always laugh, and enjoy the journey. Bye. I have this golden box right here, which is 
Ooh, it's overflowing. <laughs>